Hello, it's opening day at Bridgeton High School, and I am Mr. Weinstein. This is my 36th year teaching, 20 of which have been in Bridgeton, and it feels as fresh as my first day at work. So, welcome. The opening day is really important to me, and it should be for you, but it's especially important for me because from my experience, it's an important day in the sense we should get to know each other so that there's this connection where you can, you can build some type of trust between one another. And the way we do that is, is to develop what's called rapport or um, feeling easy with, with each other. And that means you have to kind of know a little bit about the person. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, then hopefully after that, you'll tell me a little bit about yourself and we can share these things to the class if you feel comfortable doing it. So I think I'll try to make this interesting by telling you six things about myself. Six things. Seis cosas sobre el señor Weinstein. The thing is, only four of these things is going to be true. Solo cuatro so, de estas afirmaciones son verdaderas. Six statements and two are going to be false. Now, most of the time, people don't get all six. And that's not unusual. If you don't know me, chances are you wouldn't get all six. Just like my situation where I wouldn't know you and couldn't get six out of six. But I think one or two people have. Okay. So in any case, let's look at the six different statements. And then later, of course, I'll reveal them. But I want you to first try to determine which ones are fact or fiction. So first of all, the first statement. I studied business for a year in New Delhi, India. Only one year, but for one year in New Delhi, India. And that's... Estudió negocios right. por un año en New Delhi, India. Ooh, that's not easy. Right there. Okay. It's a mirror image for me. So, yeah. Studied business for a year in New Delhi, India. Next. <clears throat> I speak, read, and write Russian. Habla, lee, y escribe ruso. Next, my wife dated actor Alex Baldwin. Mi esposa salió con el actor Alex Baldwin. Famous actor. I played ice hockey for a South Jersey championship team in 1978. Jugó hockey sobre hielo para los campeones de la escuela secundaria de South Jersey en 1978. I was actually born in Canada, Toronto, Canada. Nació en Toronto, Canadá. And finally, I worked as a musician after I got out of college. Trabaja como músico después de la universidad. So those are the six things that I'm going to ask you to tell me which four are correct and which two are incorrect or false. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the answers. All right? Try it. Thanks. All right, let's look at the first answer. Mr. Weinstein never studied in India. In fact, he never was in India. He likes Indian food. And from what I hear, there's a new Indian restaurant on Landis Avenue in Vineland. So if you're interested, I would suggest that you go. <laughs> but no, Mr. Weinstein, though he likes Indian food, has never been in India.
True or false? Does Mr. Weinstein speak, write, and read in Russian? <laughs> the answer is C, yes. Привет, друзья! Сегодня только по-русски, но с ошибками. Так, это был Борис Немцов в 2000 году, но лучше сказать, что в 2000 году появился Борис Немцов в российской медиасети НТВ. Did Mr. Weinstein's wife a date with Alec Baldwin? <laughs> the answer is... Yes. They were actually good friends for a year while at college. This photograph occurred around New Year's Eve in 1979. In the center is Mr. Weinstein's wife, but to the left with the beard is the famous actor Alec Baldwin, whose real name actually is Alex, and this was in the basement of the parents' Next house. Statement. Mr. Weinstein played ice hockey for the South Jersey High School Championship in 1978. That is true. Let's take a look. When he was 40, the last time he played hockey. And the fifth statement, was Mr. Weinstein born in Toronto, Canada? The answer is no, never. False. And finally, our last statement. Mr. Weinstein indeed worked as a musician after college. He couldn't find a job. He had studied jazz and classical music and decided to play music to earn money. Here's a video of him playing classical guitar. Mm -hmm. 